something for Gran to grumble about. Today it was the television. I can't find anything good on it, she said. I'm sick and tired of old cowboy films, said Gran, and switched over to the other side. But that was no good either. Nor was the weather forecast. It was bad. Thunderstorms in all areas? What's so good as that? Then came the news, and that wasn't good. I got some good news, said a voice. Gran turned round. The voice seemed to belong to a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. It was her grandson, Jim, who'd come to visit her. Do you like my costume, Gran? I'm playing the part of a rabbit in the school play. Turn round then, said Gran. Let's have a proper look at you. Hmm, there's something missing. I know. You need a tail. Now, let me see. Oh, I've got just a thing. You can borrow the pom-pom from my woolly hat. Stand on the chair and I'll fix it on for you. That's the idea. I'll just sew it on. Keep still. Now you look more like a rabbit. I feel like one too. Goodbye, Gran. In the play, Jim was the first to appear on stage. The audience clapped him. It was a long time before the clapping stopped and he could go off. He was the last on, too, and got a lot more clapping from the audience. The same thing happened every afternoon until the play was over. Then, when Jim had some free time again, he switched on the television. He hadn't watched it for over a week. A familiar face appeared upon the screen. It was Gran. This is the Gran o'clock good news. Although the rain has caused flooding here, the sunshine in Spain is making the oranges sweet and juicy. And now some good news from the zoo. William, the four-year-old chimpanzee, is giving the keepers a helping hand. Good work, William. Later on, I will be appearing in a brand new cowboy film called Gran Gets Her Man. Goodness me, said Jim, Gran's a star. I must get her autograph. How did she ever get on television? She really is the most surprising Gran. Then, stopping to get some flowers on the way, he hurried to see Gran. You're lucky to find me in, said Gran, when Jim arrived. She was trying on a new hat. I've been busy since I saw you last. I wanted some good news on television, so I started my own program. Yes. Yes, I can manage tomorrow. Goodbye. Uh, these are for you, Gran. Oh, thanks, Jim. They're my favourite flowers. They want me to star in another programme. The only trouble with being on television so much is that I don't get the time to watch it anymore. And now there are some really good programmes on. 